Hey everyone! It's been a while since I've done a video, but today I wanted to show how I put tattoos on my resin pieces. Um, it's not very hard, I just wanted to make a video so, you know, if anyone um, is wondering how, you know, you can just check out the video. Um, so I do two different methods. There is the the method where I put I pour a layer of resin into the mold, whatever piece I'm making. So there's like a thin layer of resin in here if you guys can see it. And um and then I just put the the tattoo on like if you were putting it on skin, you peel off the plastic, place it and then you pretty much just um, put water on the back, you know, with a, like so. And then I always grab a baby wipe just because it's easy, you know, it's already, it's already moist. And then I just um, put a little bit more water on it, not too much because then you're going to have water on your resin piece and you don't want it to um, interfere with your second layer of resin. So we just pat it down like that and see you could start seeing the image now darker. Make sure it's nice on all the edges like so. And then we just peel it off. Sorry, if I can get it. Peel it off like, like this. And so you have your cat there. So now um, this, is, this is how it's going to look. Um, and then you can just wait for it to dry a little bit. Um, and you can pour your second layer on it. Um, I usually just do white background because it's the safest, <coughs> excuse me, it's like the safest color to use because, um, you know, the lines will pop and everything will look good. Um, I tried like doing a transparent like with glitter and you couldn't really see it. It was really hard to see the tattoo. Um, so yeah, this is one method. Um, I have a piece this piece right here I made um, the same way I poured one layer a thin layer and I placed this little uh, bird cabbage on in there and then I poured more in the back because it was still peeking through the back so I poured another layer and then I put the tattoo on there and then I poured the last layer which was in white and I really really love this one it says mom and then um, this is the other method you can use, which is um, I had some leftover white resin from this one. So I poured it into a heart mold like this. And then I had leftover green from another piece. So I poured that into the back, um, popped out the piece. It was just a plain heart. And then I um, added the tattoo on top and then just domed it added some resin on top you know and then um just i just added the bling around um so yeah that's the second way the second method to do it um i do have this square piece right here that i'm going to add this tattoo right here this will probably just be a um a magnet because they're kind of big pieces so you just peel off same way peel off Sorry, the camera's falling. Um, you peel it off and then you place it where you want it. Right there. And then you grab your baby wipe. I hope you guys can see. It's kind of dark. And I'm just going to get more, more water on my baby wipe. Just pat it, pat it until you can see the image. 
On these, it's kind of harder because it has letters. But I'll show you guys. And I just really love... I tried doing the tattoos like a long time ago and I really didn't like it. And then I tried it again and I'm just like so into it right now. So see how you can kind of see the image through this paper now? You can see it there. So now you can peel it off. Um, oh, and this one didn't work out very well. Could already tell. This one was a glittery one, so I don't know if that kind of has anything to do with it, but kind of didn't didn't stick well. Let me see. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Mm, yeah, this one didn't work. Um, it's just some of the paper got stuck to it. I don't know if it was because the paper was too wet or what it was, but it's peeling off, so it's okay. But there we go. Um. So see how you can see the the tattoo but because the background is orange you really can't see the colors in the tattoo because it was white the skull was white so I find that the colors pop more when you use um, the white backgrounds in this one and now I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of pieces that I've made this one they're unfinished but I put this mermaid tattoo in this setting and um, now I just have to um, make a little cabochon not cabochon sorry the cameo um, little dome um, and I have this one this one was also um, placed on top and then just domed it you know sealed it with resin same thing with this one. I just um, put it on top of this heart that I had already made and then I just domed it with resin. And then um, I have this panda that I really, really love. I just don't know what to do with it. It's so big, but I totally want to make it into a necklace. It's so cute. Um, so it kind of made it into like a uh, kind of like a sugar skull style panda and then you know that you always like have extra resin lying around when you're when you're doing something and um, it's always cool to just have like white pieces like this and then you could just add like little tattoos like tiny ones and then um, paint on these so these are pretty cool and I think that is it guys. I just wanted to um, show how I do or how I place my tattoos on my pieces. And I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys use your tattoos as well. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.